Hi guys, welcome to the first lesson of my course Basics to Flight Mechanics and this lesson is about fixed wing aircraft so I'll be explaining the different parts of the fixed wing airplane so in this lesson I'll be doing only the wing and the fuselage first so please subscribe to the Dhan Academy YouTube channel also you can download the Dhan Academy learning app and also please do follow me if you want to remain updated about the lessons that I upload thank you Hey guys, welcome to the first lesson of my course Basics to Flight Mechanics and this lesson is about the airplane. The airplane, that is a fixed winged aircraft. Uh, actually, uh, the basic airplane um, is because uh, our, attention, uh, our attention will be completely centered to the mainly the class of aircraft known as the airplanes. That is the fixed winged aircraft and uh, not any other such as helicopters or, uh, or uh, movable winged aircrafts. We are not doing any kind of those stuff. We are only doing fixed winged aircraft. So first of all about me. I'm doing my B.Tech in Aerospace from uh, SIM University in Chennai, Katang Klathur. And uh, I'm, I'm a final year student right now. I'm in my eighth semester and uh, I'll be completing my degree by end of this April month. And uh, I'm myself a GATE aspirant and I'll be applying for the GATE in 2019. And also right now I'm an educator on an academy from, the, uh, from uh, uh, February 22nd. And I've already given many other courses also for GATE or Aerospace. If you have not seen them, then please go back and see them. Uh, the courses are on aircraft materials and then uh, rocket propulsion. I have on uh, aircraft performance also. Then some MCQs on uh, flight mechanics and uh, materials as well. Manufacturing technology also. So you can go back and find them also if you want to. So hello, this is me. That is Priya Malani as I told in the video before. And I'm here because I love to share my knowledge. If I know something, I would like to uh, tell it to you also. So you can find me in this link, the link given here right now. This link is actually my profile link. Uh, you can um, find me here if you want to uh, know about any of my uh, lessons as soon as I upload and you want to get a notification, then you can follow me in this link. And if you want to find any of the courses that I have uploaded, then you can again find me at this link and you will be able to access all the uh, courses I uploaded. And also if you have any doubts or any questions relating to any of the things I have taught you, then you can also uh, come to this link and comment on the uh, comment section of that particular video and uh, then you can tell me what is your doubt so that I clear you. And even if you have a feedback to give me, then also you're most welcome and you can comment and tell me your feedback. I'll try my level best to work on that. So uh, beginning with this chapter of ours, the airplane, the fixed wing aircraft. Uh, actually, airplane is a fixed wing aircraft and we are, we are like very much clear with that already. So first of all, uh, about basic airplane. So um, uh, uh, overall, the uh, physical makeup of a typical airplane uh, we'll be doing in this lesson. So this is the exploded view form of an airplane. That is fuselage, wing, tail assembly, control surfaces, landing gear and power plant. So these are the few parts that we know that an airplane has. This is the exploded view of that. This is the tail assembly right here. This is the horizontal stabilizer, uh, whereas this is the vertical stabilizer. This is the wing part. And uh, here there might be flats, ailerons and many other things, slats and spoilers as well. This is the fuselage. This might be the cockpit. This is the engine uh, right here. So uh, this is the exploded view of an uh, aircraft and uh, 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 it's actually when we combine this, we will get a complete aircraft. So the first thing that we'll study about is the fuselage. In the picture that you see, the body is completely red here. And this is uh, known as the fuselage. The, the fuselage is where we sit and it is the main body of the airplane. So uh, uh, fuselage is the body that is the basic structure of the airplane. It uh, houses the crew controls the cargo, passengers, armaments and also uh, it uh, mounts the engine as well. The wings are also attached to it and uh, uh, the tail wings and the tail assembly and everything is attached to fuselage basically. Uh, the body of the airplane is called the fuselage. It houses the crew, the con uh, controls, the cargo, the passengers and uh, carry armaments also of various sorts if required for in case of military. In addition, an engine may be housed in the fuselage the fuselage is, in one sense, the basic structure of the airplane since many of the other large components are attached to it. It is generally streamlined as much as possible to reduce drag. 
designs uh, vary with the mission to be performed and uh, variations of fuselage are basically endless so these are a few variations of the fuselage here you can see this is a B26B and this is twin engine bomber of WW2 this is P47N and this is single engine fighter bomber this is Jetstar and four engine transport here we have Albatross and this is a flying boat then next we have B-52G and here we have long range B engine bomber. So this, these are a few different types of fuselage and there is no classification of fuselage basically because we have endless and numerous types of fuselage. Now the second part of the airplane that is the wing. Wing as we know provides a lift to the airplane and uh, it is of the airfoil shape that is the most streamlined shape uh, that we have to provide lift. So, wing provides the lifting, uh, principal lifting force of an airplane. Lift is obtained from the dynamic reaction of the wing with the respect to the air. The cross-sectional uh, cross uh, shape of the wing is known as the airfoil section. The airfoil section shape, platform shape of the wing and the placement of the wing on the fuselage depend upon the um, airplane mission and the best uh, compromise necessary is the overall airplane design. So, uh, as we, uh, as I told you, that it's a basic principle for lifting force. Also, it uh, provides lift by dynamic reaction of wing with the air. Then the cross-sectional area of the wing is uh, air airfoil, and the wing shape and the placement also matters. So this is a wing. The cross-section uh, view here, you can see it's an airfoil. Airfoil here again. Uh, the complete of the wing is an airfoil. So these are the few wing designs uh, that we have here. The Wright Brothers wing design was this. This is the P-36 subsonic design. This is F-51 subsonic design. This is F-140 supersonic design. So moving ahead. Uh, then the wing placement. We have wing placement of three types. That is the high wing that is placed on above the aircraft. For example, for Cessna. Then we have the mid wing. This, this might be for uh, most of the commercial aircrafts. Then we have the low wing, that is uh, it's placed below and engines are mostly mounted, uh, uh, mounted above the wings in this case. These are the platforms, that is the shape of the wing that we have and uh, uh, this also matters uh, as rectangular wing is set to produce uh, more lift and uh, so these are the few different shapes, uh, that is plan form of the wing that is available, rectangular, tapered, elliptical, then we have delta wing also. Delta wing is mostly used for supersonic aircrafts. Then we have the swept wing as well. So thank you guys. If you have any questions, uh, as I told you, you can find me on this link anytime and comment down your section, uh, comment down your doubts in the comment section. Uh, I'll be clearing them as soon as I see your questions. So thank you guys. Also, please do rate, review and recommend. And if you have any feedback or any topics that you want me to discuss, please let me know. Thank you.